Hi guys, so today we're looking at a new setting powder from Be Perfect. The potentially questionably named, given what the world just went through, Lockdown Lux Pressed Powder. I got it on Beauty Bay, they have 10 shades. I got Lockdown 1.0, which is a translucent, it's currently out of stock. It's $13.95, which is a bit pricey. You get 13 grams of product. And what they say is, a matte pressed powder. Lock your base in place with the Be Perfect Lockdown Pressed Powder. This long wearing, skin perfecting pressed powder blends seamlessly into the skin with a rich matte finish to minimise shine and reduce the appearance of pores. With a handy mirror for on the go touch ups, you need this powder in your collection. So, that is that. I've got a little application section. We're going to do a wear test, as usual, and then I'll be back with final thoughts. Right, so got foundation and concealer on. I don't know why, I feel like my foundation's been looking really light compared to the rest of my skin. I'm wondering if any kind of bounce back from my SPF. But anyway, so let's open this guy up. Right, so let's get to applying this. My foundation looks really pale. Getting wonder if the light's kind of reflecting off of the SPF moisturiser that I use at all. Um, there is a mirror in here but it's covered. I'm just going to leave it for just now. I have to say I'm a little bit nervous about this because I can see a tiny bit of kind of sheen to it sometimes. I don't know how well it's going to pick up. But let's see. So I've got my reasonably clean brush. Um, I just used the, clean, the cleaning spray on it. Um, I usually powder quite heavily because I'm an oily girl and I like to look matte. Um, I mean, I'm just going to end up using this mirror, haven't I? Oh, it's not got a wee tab bit. Okay. Let <laughs> me get that later. Got a mirror here anyway. See, it still feels kind of, I don't want to say sticky, but you know the difference between touching kind of wet foundation and a powdered face? It wasn't all the way there yet. I mean, if you wanted a really light setting to your makeup, I think this would be really good. At the moment, for me, I feel like I'm going to be in and out quite a lot to get this to kind of the stage where I like it to be. It does look nice though, like it's definitely quite finely uh, milled, so my skin does look as smooth as my skin looks. I mean, we all know I don't have great skin. Um, I still get spots and things. Yeah, it is looking um, matte enough for me. Um, I'm not seeing those shimmers that were having me worried. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely find it easier working with a loose powder. But regardless, let's see how long this holds back my oil. Um, I have my usual dose of colours foundation with the 17 um, primer. And the time just now is quarter to eleven. So yeah, I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my makeup, dry my hair, paint my nails to find hide the fact that I didn't put gloves on when I was doing a coloured shampoo to try and top up my colour. I just wanted to come back for a quick second. I've just finished my makeup, done my setting spray, forgot to do it before my mascara. But oh my god! 
I, I don't I don't know it's settled and this now just looks yeah I'm, I'm really liking how this looks now so I'm now finger crossed this actually holds up to the oil on my skin because if my skin gets a look like this I'll be happy Right, I just popped up to film my intro, like I haven't even got around to putting lip product on yet because I'm about to eat. And we've got a tiny bit of shine breaking through, except it's not even really picking up on camera. Um, hmm. Strange. It's definitely there. I'm not going mad. Um, so I'm going to have to do a touch up already. Um, just kind of sad. It's not even half twelve. So... <laughs> I mean, I generally use a lot of powder and because this is quite firmly pressed I maybe didn't get as much as I normally would on. Maybe if I used the same amount of my normal powder it would break through in the same amount of time, but very hard for me to compare like for like that way a loose and pressed powder but anyway we'll be back and we'll see how it goes throughout the day the coverage is still perfect under it it was just that little bit of shine that my personal taste I'm not into <laughs> right so I'm back I'm about to get ready for bed so it's final check-in time it's half ten so this hasn't been like the longest of long wear tests but this is a fairly typical Makeup wearing length for me, we're going on the 12 hour mark. So, let's zoom in and have a look. Um, so, shine wise, it's actually not that bad. Um, it did break through quite soon um, compared to what I would like, but it seems to have also stopped at a more minimal amount of shine. Um, and the foundation itself has held together actually much better than it does with my go-to powder which is the RCMA No Colour um, I know I shouldn't, I've still got a tiny bit of creasing but it's a tiny bit, it does seem to be less um, in terms of what I've done today I went on a three and a half kilometre walk with Flynn and it was like 19 degrees I am aware that a lot of you <laughs> live places where that's not much I know there's a lady from Florida watching my videos and I imagine her sitting there going <laughs> you think 19 degrees is warm, bless. Um, but I'm Scottish, we're not used to this, okay? We're meant to be in the rain and just grey skies and all that jazz. So 19 degrees for us, it's warm. <laughs> I've got a low tolerance for heat. I get sweaty at 19 degrees and my makeup is still here. So actually, I think I might really like this guy. I am curious whether I can layer powders, you know, like if I put this one on to set down the foundation and get that beautiful finish my foundation all day, can I layer my RCMA on top to get more of the the oil fighting that it does? Um, that'll be fun to experiment with, but Yes, this is a little bit pricey. Yes, it is bulky, which is a bad side. Um, I mean, what's a good comparison that I've got in that? I've got a quad eyeshadow palette from Colourpop. For <laughs> That's going to be an interesting comparison. Because, you know, compact that you're meant to carry around, eyeshadow palette, not so much. So... Yeah, this guy is bulky and it is plastic, yeah it is all plastic other than the mirror, um, so it's not heavy heavy, but you, you'll, you'll feel it, you can feel weight when you pick it up, it's not lightweight but it's not as heavy as if this had been made of metal. So maybe not the ideal for carrying around day to day or in a night out if you're trying to go for the dinky. Um, dinky handbag but I absolutely love 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 what this has done for keeping my makeup in place stopping it from you know breaking up when the oils come through 
like I said, it let a little bit of oil through and then just kind of stopped it. I'm pretty sure the point that it stopped at a lot of people would enjoy their skin looking like that. It's just me that's crazy about wanting to be matte all the time. Um, I think it's one of those grasses always greener on the other side. Like if you've got drier skin, you probably love that dewy look, whereas if you've got oily skin like me, you're like, matte, keep it matte, all day, all day long, keep it matte. Um, I think I could have just done with blotting papers actually throughout the day because the coverage on this didn't really, well, didn't go anywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to stop rambling about how much I love it. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them down below. And I will get back to you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.